Inquisitor. How goes the battle, Captain? The Red Templars fall beneath our blades, Your Worship. Commander Cullen says they're nearly finished. Our scouts saw Corypheus traveling towards an elven ruin to the north. We can clear you a path through his armies. Do only what you must. We need enough people for a celebration when we get back to Skyhold. We will not fail you, my lady, no matter what comes. Andraste guide you, Inquisitor. I wonder, is it Andraste your soldiers invoke during battle, or does a more immediate name come to their lips? Another way to let people down if I falter. Thank you for the reminder. Twas not I who raised an army of faithful to storm this land, Inquisitor. But I digress. If your scouts report accurately, I believe these ruins to be the Temple of Mathal. Which is? A place of worship out of elven legend. If Corypheus seeks it, then the alluvian he covets lies within. Let us hope we reach this temple before the entire forest is reduced to ash. I'm confident your majesty can weather any storm. We will see how this battle proceeds. Corypheus yet threatens to engulf us. We are gladdened to see you, Herald. This day will be recalled for ages. We are privileged to witness the fulfillment of the Inquisition's purpose. The sight of our Orlesian allies risking their lives here humbles me. Your worthy cause would have friends, even if we did not will it. Men and women of faith serve you. Their favor is no less than our own, their service no less dear. With Orlé at your side, we will see you victorious against Corypheus. May you walk in the light. Inquisitor? I hear this Eluvian lies in a temple nearby. That's where the fighting will be worst. Andraste, keep you safe. Move everyone immediately if the fighting comes closer. You may count on it. Good luck. Listen to how close the fighting's gotten. It will be worse ahead. If the soldiers aren't careful with their fires, they'll do Corypheus's work for him. Come on, let's go plug some assholes. Do you sense the magic crackling? Something more powerful than the Red Templars stirs. were Grey Wardens. They must be the last of those enslaved at Adamant. If they are forced to obey him, death will be a blessing. There, ahead, an entire camp of Red Templars. Watch out. They've posted archers on the wall. Were we just attacked by elves? It seems this temple of Mithal is not deserted after all. Perhaps these creatures are the reason few return from the Arbor Wilds. Good hunting, Inquisitor. We are keeping them at bay. Follow the river to the temple.
Not Milana so banale. They still think to fight us, Master. These are but remnants. They will not keep us from the Well of Sorrows. Well of Sorrows? Be honored. Witness death at the hands of a new god. Not be across the bridge now. At last, Mathal's sanctum. Let us proceed before Corypheus interferes. You said Corypheus wanted an Illuvian, but he mentioned a Well of Sorrows, which is right. I am uncertain of what he referred to. Could they be the same? Could Illuvian translate into Well of Sorrows? No. It seems an Illuvian is not the prize Corypheus seeks. Yes, I was wrong. Does that please you? Whatever the Well of Sorrows might be, Corypheus seeks it, and thus you must keep it from his grasp. Let's find this well before Corypheus's people do. I want to know how Corypheus returned to life. We saw him die. And his life force passes on to any blighted creature, Darkspawn or Grey Warden. So, how many times do we need to kill him? It's a small number, right? Strike Corypheus down, and he will rise anew. We'll find a way to stop him once we're done here. Tis strange. Archdemons possess the same ability, and still the Grey Wardens are able to slay them. Yet Corypheus, they locked away. Perhaps they knew he could do this, but not how. It's sealed. Corypheus' lackey has managed to open it. Perhaps the altar holds a clue. It appears the temple's magics are still strong. Is this elven? Does it say anything about this Well of Sorrows? Atishol via Abalassan. It means enter the path of the Well of Sorrows. There is something about knowledge, respectful or pure, Shivan. Shivanen. Tis all I can translate. That it mentions the well is a good omen. At least we know the Well of Sorrows was important. Supplicants to Mathal would have first paid obeisance here. Following their path may aid entry. Oh, no. This is bad. Rituals are bad. You can't want this. If need be, unless you wish to turn back. There. Let us see what awaits. 
Are you certain Corypheus is using the power of the Blight to make himself immortal? Perhaps you forget. I was in Ferelden during the Fifth Blight. I have seen a true Archdemon rage. How Corypheus gained the power to send his soul into blighted bodies, that is the real question. Will answering that question let us destroy Corypheus for good? Perhaps. I would suggest first dealing with the well. If Corypheus obtains it, any chance of success could be lost. Do you know what this part of the temple was used for? The room we stand in is a vestibule, not the temple proper. To those who knew it, perhaps this ritual was little more than a polite knock at the gate. These customs must have been as familiar to ancient elves as bowing to a queen is to you or I. I find it difficult to picture you curtsying to anyone. Have we become so familiar you can predict my manners and customs now? Nothing is lost by indulging in the occasional civilized conduct, particularly when unexpected. You said this Mithal was worshipped as a goddess. So one assumes. What is a god but a being of immense power? The dread old gods were nothing more than dragons, after all. They rise as archdemons, and they die. Perhaps Mithal was a powerful elf, a ruler among her kind. History often plays storyteller with facts. You admit lack of knowledge, and yet dismiss her so readily? I do not dismiss her. I question her supposed divinity. One need not be a god to have value. Truthfully, I'm uncertain Mithal was even a single entity. The accounts are varied. There are varied accounts of Mithal. In most stories, Mithal rights wrongs while exercising motherly kindness. Let fly your voice to Mithal, deliverer of justice, protector of sun and earth alike. Other paint her as dark, vengeful. Pray to Mithal and she would smite your enemies, leaving them in agony. More Dalish tales. If you know more about this, Solus, speak. The oldest accounts say Mithal was both of these, and neither. She was the mother, protective and fierce. That is all I will say. This is not a place to stir up old stories. Whatever the truth, all accounts of Mithal end the same. Exiled to the beyond with her brethren. What do you mean, exiled? Tricked by the Dread Wolf. As all the Elven Gods were said to be, trapped in a land beyond the Fade. Many Dalish believe this is why the Elves fell from grace, and their gods did not save them. Or perhaps they were simply rulers slain by Tevinta. Who can say? You've seen the Elves here. They seem... odd. Indeed. Two things are possible. One, this is a group of Dalish separated from their brethren, cultists, fanatic in their desire to keep humans away. Two, these are elves descended from the ancients having resided here since before the fall of Arlathan. The second appears unlikely, but if true, the implications are astounding. If they keep records, it could change everything we thought we knew about history. It is thrilling, no? To discover an era thought lost forever has possibly thrived in the shadows. We may, however, find these elves reluctant to part with their long-kept secrets. them off! Come on, we might catch them. 
Hold a moment. While they rush ahead, this leads to our true destination. We should walk the petitioner's path as before. An army fights and dies for us. The longer we tarry, the more soldiers we lose outside. Let's jump down and be done with this place. In this case, I must agree with the witch. This is ancient ground, deserving of our respect. You see the urgency? We cannot find the Well of Sorrows unprepared. We don't know what's behind those doors. They might have a reason for going another way. Had they the option, they would have proceeded. That must lead to their goal. Their goal? Or yours? There is a danger to the natural order. Legends walked Thedas once, things of might and wonder. Their passing has left us all the lesser. Corypheus would squander the ancient power of the well. I would have it restored. You barely know what the Well of Sorrows is, but you want to restore it. Yes. Is Theda so full of wonders that we should leave them to die one by one? <sighs> Mankind blunders through the world, crushing what it does not understand. Elves, dragons, magic. The list is endless. We must stem the tide or be left with nothing more than the mundane. This I know to be true. I read more in the first chamber than I revealed. It said a great boon is given to those who use the Well of Sorrows, but at a terrible price. What exactly did that altar say about the Well of Sorrows? Like most elven writing, it was insufferably vague. The term I deciphered was Halam Shivanas, the sweet sacrifice of duty. It implies the loss of something personal for duty's sake, yet for those who served at this temple, a worthwhile trade. Did you not trust me enough to tell me about this price when you read it? I hoped to find more information. If I intended to cheat you, I would have feigned ignorance entirely. My priority is your cause, but if the opportunity arises to save this well, I am willing to pay the cost. And gain what? That is what we must discover. The rituals may point the way. Tis not what I expected. What was this chamber used for? Hmm. We're being watched. Venavis. You are unlike the other invaders. You stumble down our paths at the side of one of our own. You bear the mark of magic, which is familiar. How has this come to pass? What is your connection to those who first disturbed our slumber? They are my enemies, as well as yours. I am called Abelas. We are sentinels, tasked with standing against those who trespass on sacred ground. We wake only to fight, to preserve this place. Our numbers diminish with each invasion. I know what you seek. Like all who have come before you, you wish to drink from the Vera Belasan. The place of the Way of Sorrows. He speaks at the well. It is not for you. It is not for any of you. So, you're elves from ancient times. Before the Tevinter Imperium destroyed Arlathan. The Shemlin did not destroy Arlathan. We Elven warred upon ourselves. By the time the doors to this sanctuary closed, our time was over. We awaken only when called, and each time find the world more foreign than before. It is meaningless. We endure. The Virabella San must be preserved. 
What is this Virabalasan exactly? It is a path. One walked only by those who toiled in Mithal's favor. He speaks of priests, perhaps. More than that, you need not know. Solus, perhaps he'll listen to you. What shall I say, Inquisitor? Shall I sway him from a millennia of service by virtue of our shared blood? He clings to all that remains of his world, because he lacks the power to restore it. We did not come here to fight you, nor to steal from your temple. I believe you. Trespassers you are, but you have followed rites of petition. You have shown respect to Mithal. If these others are enemies of yours, we will aid you in destroying them. When this is done, you shall be permitted to depart. And never return. This is our goal, is it not? There is no reason to fight these Sentinels. Consider carefully. You must stop Corypheus, yes, but you may also need the well for your own. I accept your offer. You will be guided to those you seek. As for the Vera Belasan, it shall not be despoiled, even if I must destroy it myself. No! Morrigan! This would be our guide. Mytholinast. That's helpful, since Morrigan chased off on her own. She seeks to protect the Well of Sorrows. This place looks untouched. The entire temple must have looked like this long ago. How could the elves pour such devotion into this nonsense? We can always ask our hosts. I will leave that to you. The Sentinels are holding off the Red Templars. Good for something, I guess, if they keep it up. Abalas gave us his word. Well, good for Dusty Butt. The Well of Sorrows. So Mithal endures. Andraste, guide us. You tough bastards. A day's march, hours of fighting, and still fierce as dragons. The Chantry never knew what it was throwing away. Samson, sir, watch out! Inquisitor, you and those elf things don't know when to stop. You've hunted us half across Thedas. I should have guessed you'd follow us into this hole. Your reserves are gone. So is the Lyrian. Isn't it time to stand down? To enjoy the mercy you showed our brothers and sisters? No thanks. Corypheus chose me twice. First as his general, now, as the vessel for the Well of Sorrows. You know what's inside the well? Wisdom. The kind of wisdom that can scour a world. I give it to Corypheus, that he can walk into the Fade without your precious anchor. What's your part in it? What's a vessel? What else empties a well? I'll carry its power to Corypheus. One more task entrusted to me. Being force-fed Chantry Lyrium was good for something. This armor makes me a living fortress, mind and body. I won't forget a word of the well's knowledge. Corypheus will be unstoppable. Once Corypheus is that powerful, you and your soldiers will just slow him down. You dare say that to my face? After you butchered my men? You're no match for Corypheus. Even if you drink from the well, you'll never master its wisdom as he could. This is the strength the Chantry tried to bind. But it's a new world now, with a new god. So, Inquisitor, how will this go? Power's all well and good, until it's taken away. <laughs> What did you do? What did you do? My armor... is gone. The Lyrium! I need it! Kill them all! Take them!
die for that! Take it from Corypheus. You mustn't. <laughs> He's still breathing. We can take him back to Skyhold for judgment. Avalos! You heard his parting words, Inquisitor. The elf seeks to destroy the Well of Sorrows. So the Sanctum is despoiled at last. You would have destroyed the Well yourself, given the chance. To keep it from your grasping fingers. Better it be lost than bestowed upon the undeserving. Fool. You'd let your people's legacy rot in the shadows. Corypheus needed Samson to use the Well. Without him, there's no vessel to claim it. The moment we leave, he will send more forces to secure this place. The well clearly offers power, Inquisitor. If that power can be turned against Corypheus, can you afford not to use it? Do you even know what you ask? As each servant of Mithal reached the end of their years, they would pass their knowledge on through this. All that we were, all that we knew, it would be lost forever. This can't be easy holding on to what's left. You cannot imagine. Each time we awaken, it slips further from our grasp. There are other places, friend, other duties. Your people yet linger. Elven such as you? Yes, such as I. You have shown respect to Mithal, and there is a righteousness in you I cannot deny. Is that your desire? To partake of the Vera Belasan as best you can? To fight your enemy? Not without your permission. One does not obtain permission. One obtains the right. The Vera Belisan may be too much for a mortal to comprehend. Brave it if you must. But know you this. You shall be bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to a goddess who no longer exists, if she ever did. Bound as we are bound. The choice is yours. Is it possible this Mithal might still exist? Anything is possible. Elven legend states that Mathal was tricked by Fen Harel and banished to the beyond. Elven legend is wrong. The Dread Wolf had nothing to do with her murder. Murder? I, I said nothing of. She was slain, if a god truly can be, betrayed by those who destroyed this temple. Yet the Virabella San remains, as do we. That is something. Are you leaving the temple? Our duty ends. Why remain? There is a place for you, Letheline, if you seek it. Perhaps there are places the Shamlin have not touched. It may be that only Uthenera awaits us, the blissful sleep of eternity never to awaken, if fate is kind. You could come with us. Fight Corypheus. He killed your people. We killed ourselves long ago. Malas Amali Nahalam Abalas. His name, Abalas, means sorrow. I said, I hope he finds a new name. You'll note the intact Illuvian. 
I was correct on that count, at least. Is it still a threat? Can Corypheus use it to travel the Fade? You recall when I took you through my Alluvian, I said each required a key? The well is the key. Take its power, and Mathal's last Alluvian will be no more use to Corypheus than glass. I did not expect the well to feel so... hungry. Let's not be reckless. I don't want anyone hurt. I am willing to pay the price the well demands. I am also the best suited to use its knowledge in your service. Or more likely to your own ends? What would you know of my ends, Elf? You are a glutton drooling at the sight of a feast. You cannot be trusted. Of those present, I alone have the training to make use of this. Let me drink, Inquisitor. You alone? You're not the only mage here. I have studied the oldest lore. I have delved into mysteries of which you could only dream. Can you honestly tell me there is anyone better suited? What about you, Solus? No. Do not ask me again. I don't know who's better suited, and neither do you. I have the best chance of making use of the well. For everyone. Let me drink. You're not concerned about the price. Bound forever to the will of Mithal. Bound to the will of a dead god? It seems an empty warning. Perhaps a compulsion yet remains. Who can say otherwise? I do not fear it, even so. Are you sure you want this, Morrigan? We don't know what will happen. We do not, and yet it must be done. I am ready. Looking at it, listening to it. That's not just knowledge from the ancient elven priests. It's their will. How would you know such a thing? That's what Abelas was telling us. The collective will of the priests puts anyone who drinks under a compulsion, a gas. Can't you feel it? That would match the legends, but it does not tell us what the gas entails. I would still use the well, but you are right. We must be cautious. Thoughts? She is right about only one thing. We should take the power which lies in that well. If it is truly between you and her, then let her take the risk. Make her help us all. It's called the Well of Sorrows. Sorrows? No one should go in the Well of Sorrows. Enough deliberation. Give me your decision. It's yours. Morrigan, are you all right? <sighs> Elasin Salah, Visan, Visan Allah. I, I am intact. There is much to sift through, but now we can. Through the mirror! 